Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 with our realistic series. We can take this one. So I will have that one there. We will set this to barrel uh, metal euro pallet like that. And then I will come over here. So I've got in here, I've got the melons, the red lettuce... Keeping all of that, I've got some straw in here, which we're going to keep back for when we've got cows. Um, it's only the eggs that I want. So how do we use this one? Oh, wait. i got to go... Oh, I go to this bit right here. There we go. So uh, open store dialog. There we go. And then I can bring out... Square bale. Pallet. Red lettuce, 13 pallets of that. Eggs. Start. There. Right, so I've got two pallets of eggs that I've just brought out. Fantastic. I'll bring over the lorry. Yes, admittedly, a lorry might be a bit overkill for just, just taking these two. But I'm fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. 2,800 litres there. Plus, we've got a bit more from the other. I don't think we're going to have enough to be able to fully do our harvest, though. I think we're going to kind of... I'm a bit shy on that. Let's bring you up this way and load in that. So, 4,000 litres of eggs. Yeah, I think we're going to... We, we, we're going to want more than this. Although, I see, I don't want to sell the lettuce and stuff at the moment. Right, let's close that one up. What's our financial situation like? Maybe I should take out some more loan. I mean, yes, I keep adding to the loan. I know I keep adding to the loan, and I probably shouldn't. But, well, it seems like a good idea. It just seems like a good idea. Because I also want to move those greenhouses. I want to reposition them slightly. And, yes, I don't technically have to, but it takes a long time to be able to unload anything from the greenhouses. If I was able to do that job a lot quicker... Um, it basically, it's going to save us a whole load of time. And I should have built them further apart to start with, so that's kind of my bad. But it's now it's going to cost us to do the little bit of moving around that I want to do with them in order that I've got enough space to be able to properly access uh, what I've got in those greenhouses. I might actually flip one of them around, put them slightly further apart, so then uh, loading the things from the greenhouses becomes a lot easier and unload like putting the materials in it doesn't really matter we just drive around to the opposite side for like we can just do a circuit around the greenhouses so that bit would be fairly easy i think it's going to work out all right i know exactly what i'm talking about even if it doesn't make a lot of sense to you at the moment i need to actually i've got to you know, it's nine o'clock that these things open isn't it so let's fast forward time just a little tiny smidgen because i need it to be nine it's this one here. There we go. Right, 9 o'clock. And that has opened out. Let's bring you on round this way. Uh, I'll take the curtain sides off there so we can just have a look. And then we'll drive right in here. And we have eggs being sold. Fantastic. And we should make ourselves a... Well, it's not a vast fortune. But there is a little bit of money that has just come in. So we've now got... We, we made 6,252 from selling eggs. And yes, technically, you wouldn't really want to be saving your eggs for an entire year. But I'm actually okay with doing that. Because, yes, realistically, we should be delivering them every month. Same with the greenhouse produce. Same with the milk. Like, those are all items that should be delivered every single month. But I don't really want to do that. Not unless I was to build a sell point at the farm and literally just take it from the greenhouses, chicken pen, so on, and dump it straight onto the sell point without having to do lots of traveling across the map. If I'm having to do lots of traveling across the map, I'm fine with saving up these things until they sell at a better time of year. But it's... How much realism do you need? 
How much realism do you want? Because yes, in real life, you would not be keeping eggs back for many, many months in order to get a better price. You would just sell them as they come up. And different times of the year, you get better prices. And you, you kind of like it ends up balancing out across the whole year. But and it's the same with lettuce and, and so on. They, they, they've got a short shelf life. You can't harvest a load of lettuce and then keep them for six months because otherwise all you're going to be giving the customer is a crate of brown, stinking, rotting, well, halfway to compost. It, it, it's, it, it's not good for business. It's not something that you want to be doing. You absolutely don't want to be doing that. Right, we're going to bring you up here like this and we're going to try and just tuck you back into that shed and then uh, we want to get going with the sugar beet harvest i need to get the trailer up from down the bottom so we're just going to shut you off there uh this one right here we need this one on the big trailer that's down in the other sugar beet field so we can get that one and get this one over to the fields I have got the sugar beet chopper thingy-majiggy. That one's going. So I kind of want to get this sugar beet going. And then we've got the other um, jobs that we need to get going. So there's this field up here. Let's just go and have a look at that a second. This one here. I don't know if I can go in here still. All tires and tracks. Right. So we need to put fertilizer on that field and the one above it. Well, well at least half of the one above it. Uh, the field that we've just gone and ploughed already, the, the great big field that had corn in it, that one needs to have some lime spread across it. So that's on our to-do list. And then, uh, yeah, I still have to decide what I want to put in that field up there. Um, we're getting cut sugar beet from our cut sugar beet machine. Which is great and all, that's really nice, but we then need to be able to turn that into the protein feed. So we're going to need to get another machine built so that we can do the protein feed. And on top of that, we've also got the issue that it's difficult to load all of these machines. So maybe we can have a, a, some kind of auger wagon that will take all of the things because then we can just dump the stuff straight into the top if we got the right org wagon uh there's a few multi-crop ones that we can use that way we don't have to spend hours and hours messing around with the front loader uh i was kind of thinking something along the lines of uh, hmm. Where, where's the org wagons org wagons i went right past them so uh it if you have a look in here, we, most of the material can already go into any of the auger wagons anyway. Apparently, you can put some mattos in an auger wagon. I'm thinking that you're going to be getting ketchup coming out rather than tomato, normal tomatoes coming out. But, you know, well, that, 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 that's how it is. So if we have a look at the ones that Stevie, uh, not there, there. So we have a look at the Stevie ones. Um, he has done a couple of them, and now I know this is a realistic series, and I wouldn't normally um, be choosing a Stevie one that can literally take everything, but this is a way for us to avoid having to set up masses and masses of um, uh, thingamajiggies, doodahs, uh, the, the, the stuffs, the things. Uh, having to set up a load of conveyor belts and things like that because either I've got to do it the front loader and tip a front loader into the top or I've got to set a conveyor belt up and uh, use a conveyor belt to tip it into the top or I just use an auger wagon and I go and load up whatever I want to put in and then dump it into the top using the auger wagon and I think in the auger wagon is probably the way forward so this one here we have uh, we put the barley in there for making seed and then i can't remember what else it was it needs to go in that one but something um that's easy enough we, we can go and do that without any problem whatsoever and then we've got the fertilizer master which is the one through here that one is the one up in this bit where is it it's over here somewhere in this corner there that's the fertilizer master one in there it says Art Master, but Ferti Master, right there. That one takes 
You know, I can't actually remember what that one takes. Let's just have a look in here, shall we? Um, the cut master takes the sugar beet and the water, and it makes the cut sugar beet, which is absolutely fantastic. And then the furty master takes manure and digestate, both of which we don't have at the moment. Um, we've got a few other little bits, and then the seed master is barley. Oh, that needs slurry as well. Right. Okay. The other one that I want to get, and that's why I'm thinking that I should get some more money, is the one that we already know about for making the mineral feed. And I kind of want to get that one set up pretty soon. Oh, I do. Oh, that's a soy milk one. That's not the sheep's milk one. But yeah, we'll just sell the sheep's milk as sheep's milk rather than worrying about anything extra with it. Uh, compost, forage, feed. The feed master. This is the one that we need. Um... And it's the cut sugar beet. I've got everything else for it now. We can we can have that one, but it's forty grand. I don't have no, I don't have forty grand at the moment. So we're going to need to borrow money for that. And I'm thinking that I want to get this one set up and running as quickly as possible because I want to be able to start producing stuff for our animals. So that one there is working away rather beautifully. So I'm going to go back into here and we're going to borrow some more money i'm going to borrow fifty thousand. that's going to be forty thousand for the thing that we want and then a little bit extra to help with the running costs for this next harvest that we're doing so we've got that bit right there and i need to do a bit of building all right we now have this one set up over here so we can take the cut sugar beet out of there and we can dump it into there and i've got thirteen thousand euros left which isn't enough to go and buy the auger wagon that i was literally just talking about which i wanted to do so let's have a look at what auger wagon options i've got there's a lot of quite cool options here actually there's, there's a load of different ones that um, we can use but the one that I'm actually liking the most um, I was kind of looking for like a, a, a smallish one that we'd be able to use and the one I'm liking the most is we've got these Kinsey ones so there's one there which is 60,000 and holds 30 cubic meters and then that one holds 37 cubic meters so 37,000 liters it's fairly big to be honest, that one's 240 horsepower requirement and 30, um, but it's only 59,000. We can take the Stevie version of this one, and yes, I will avoid using the um, eternal time loop bit on it, the 120,000 cubic meters, because I mainly don't think that some of you will like it. But I am going to use this one for moving stuff around purely because it's going to be a whole lot faster than trying to mess around with front loaders and everything else. So we'll use this one here. We've got the standard capacity of 30,000 litres, which is all we need, actually, because the, the things that we're going to move around aren't going to be holding that much. We could always later on, if you all tell me that, yes, actually, you know, you should just use the extension because this is in place. Like, you wouldn't do this normally anyway, and I'm putting materials in here that we wouldn't normally put in here. Um, this is instead of using a front loader, and it's a time-saving device, um, when in actuality, yeah, I'd be using a front loader. Um, so yeah, it's a time-saving thing. So that one's 70,000. Actually, no, it's not because we're not using extension. It's 60,000. 60 grand to go and buy that one, which means I need more money. All right, I've borrowed another 100,000, so I now have an 850,000 euro loan, but I'm able to go and get this auger wagon, and that is all set up nicely. And yes, I'm aware that I'm paying a lot of money for something that's not a, a, a real thing, essentially, but I would say that the money we're paying out is sort of the hours that we would otherwise be spending doing this work. Uh, so, so I'm sort of quite happy to do that um there's no reason that we couldn't have the larger capacity because this thing isn't c kind of like a, a a real thing anyway um i'm still gonna leave that because i know some of you don't like uh, stuff like that right let's go actually no i didn't want that one i, I was thinking actually we go with the red 
we go with the red on there. That That's looking quite good. I quite like that. So there's uh, 59,000 on there. I can start moving stuff around with that. Now, we also need to take a look at... We've bought this new machine and we've now got it installed, which is the Feedmaster. It takes 10,000 barley, 10,000 cut sugar beets. So you really don't take very much of the materials. 1,500 litres of minerals goes in there and 3,500 litres of water. So minerals is just 1,500 litres. I need to buy the minerals. I'm hoping that I can dump that straight into an auger wagon, which is why I'm also going to just very quickly scoot back up through and find Stevie's one right there and see if we get a little symbol for that coming up down here. He's got symbols for a lot of stuff, and mods are basically kind of added in as well. Like you've got the, these various different bits, like that one right there that's added in doesn't actually look like it's including the palette of stuff that we now need to buy. Uh, that palette is here. I need to go through and find it. Mineral palette right there. You got the new hull and spare parts right there. Forgot about that bit. And copper sulfate, hydraulic oil, vegetable seeds. Yeah, we're going to want more vegetable seeds soon. Uh, so this one here, 500 litres... I need three of those just for the first bit, but I'm not going to be able to put those into our new machine. So, I have another plan. Now, I got 54,000 euros at the moment because I got some spare money. You can stay there. This one... Let's go and get it with this one a minute. Um, how was I going to do this? I had a plan. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Right, uh, if I switch that one over there like that. And then I'll put the front weight back on this one. So bring you around like that. That one goes on there like that. And then I'll get this auto load trailer. I'm pretty sure this auto load trailer has a rear hitch. And what I'm hoping is that I can put the auger wagon on the back of this trailer so that I can go and get those pallets of stuff that I want to get. And also I can hitch it on the back. If I can't, I can't. That's fine. We'll sort of figure something else out. Uh, I also want to move these greenhouses around a little bit uh, so that we've got that bit set up properly but that doesn't have to be done straight away i want to get the animal feed thing going now so that we can get that into the animals as quickly as possible because once we've got that in they will actually be able to start expanding a little bit which would be good it would be nice if we could start getting some offspring because you can sell those and make a little bit of money i like to sell i don't always do it it's not something i do on every single playthrough or anything like that but it's sometimes good to, like, with animals, sell the top 10% of the animals every so often. It does hitch onto the back. Excellent. Right. That's fantastic. So I want to go into here, and I want to go back up through. We've got to go a long way. It's uh, somewhere up. Uh, there we go. Right. Um, these. These right here is the ones that I want. Now, three of them fill the thing up on its own. So... They're only 180. I'm thinking that we go for like 10 of these. I started to buy a few pallets of seed when I remembered actually the seed pallets are overloaded pallets and not standard pallets. So I don't want to actually do that. Uh, you in here, I don't want square bale 240. We want to change this down to... Oops, not too far. Uh, Prefab wood, doghouse metal, and euro. There we go. Right, so uh, we'll start loading this up. So, yeah, the seed ones are the euro pallet overloaded. These are the standard ones. We want to do that. So, I've got four and a half thousand litres on there. Although, now that I think about it, how many can we put on here? I've got nine out of 24. They're very, very cheap. I could buy a whole load of this. Decided to get eight more. Because that way I've got 20 pallets. There. Okay, how have I got 17? I obviously miscounted. Oh, I meant to get eight more. I didn't get eight more. 
but I, I, I meant to get eight more because I thought I had 12. But I had nine when I actually wanted to have 10 to start with anyway. So I, basically I was aiming for 20 and I got 17. So we'll get three more of these. One, two, and three. It's really cheap at 180 per pallet. Like it, it, it's absolutely nothing. Um, and then I'll load those. The seed that I've got over there, I'll worry about that next time. Because uh, it's something that I'll do after I've gone and rearranged the um, greenhouses. We are going to want to go and get another trailer load of um, what do you call it? Stuff. Uh, manure. We're, we're going to want to go and buy more manure. And the problem with that is it's so, so far away on this map. You have got a really long way to go to go and buy that stuff. Um, yeah, eventually we'll, we'll, be, we'll be producing our own. We, we'll have the cows and the cows will give us a, a, a nice, good, steady supply of manure and then we won't have to worry about it at all. But until that point, we're stuck doing it the old-fashioned way, which is going up and, and going and getting it. But we can be thankful for one thing. At least we don't have to park that trailer up beside a steaming pile of manure and then shovel it all in by hand. Um, trust me when I tell you that that is not the most entertaining job that you will ever do. I speak from experience on that one. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that off. I'm going to apparently stand right inside an IBC. Because why not? Let me jump to this one instead and just run round. Okay. It's a wee bit too close there. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to get up on top of here. Because these pallets, you, you can't load them from down there. Um, however... Oh, the, the pallet mass... The what? Mineral is not accepted. Oh! Look! Look at that. Right. Um, it might not be accepted on the top bit, but it is accepted down here. Ah! Okay, so we don't... That's why you can't put them in, because they're a liquid. No, that's fine by me. Why can't I pick that up? Yeah, right. Uh... <laughs> Excellent. I bottle flipped a pallet. Did you see that? I actually bottle flipped a pallet. Right, so we've now put in the mineral feed. We've put in 1,500 litres of mineral feed right there. I'm just going to load that pallet back on. I got 8,500 litres of the stuff left. Um, what I'm going to do now is switch that back one. I'm going to unload that one and leave it there. These pallets, I'm not going to put those in the main pallet shed. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring them over here and put them into this shed over here. And then we can take them from there and we can load them back into our feed master as and when we need them. So if I just reverse you all the way into here like this... Because I'll probably do the same with seed pallets. I can put the seed pallets in front of these. So we... No, uh, unload them there. Right, so we've got a pallet of those. That's all done. That trailer can sit there for a minute. Next, I will go and get the water up here. I've got this water bowser. It's full and ready to roll. We're going to need to drag this one back down to the sheep pretty soon and unload a bit more water into the sheep. I'm thinking if the sheep are going to be going through water quite quickly, we'll want to buy a bigger water tanker. Um, possibly I would actually go and uh, modify the thing itself so that we don't have to worry too much about putting water in there. I can go and put in a huge amount of water and then just leave it and then not have to worry about it. That would definitely be an easier way of doing it. Right, so there's the water gone into there. I'm going to spin round while I'm here. Just top this one up with a bit of water. There. Fill that one up to whatever it still needs. This one is, is still making. It, it's going through. 
It's not the fastest thing, though, is it? Cut master right there. I've only got 11,000 gone through. It says 12,000 cycles a month. Oh, wait. It's because we were on the last day of the month when we started doing it last time. So, yeah. That, all right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's not too bad, I suppose. I do have the factories upgrade. I think I've got the factories upgrade mod on this one. So, um, we can always, like, have that as a, a second level on there. Let's leave that one filling up in there. So, there's that bit done. I now need to put barley in there. And I need to put the cut sugar beet. So the cut sugar beet is right there. I'm not going to worry about that one for a minute. I'm going to go and get the barley first. And that is what we're going to be using this one for. Now, I'm curious if I can put the barley in with this one. I then have to go and take what's left of the barley and put it back into our store over here. Uh, let's take the cover off a minute. So I bring you underneath and we sit you there and then you know it would help if I actually went underneath the thing there we go like that I got some wheat in there and I've got a bit of barley as well I think it's 5,000 liters of barley that we want in total so I don't want very much more than that it doesn't actually matter because I'm gonna have to bring I'm not gonna get exactly 5,000 10,000 okay 10,000 liters of barley I'll put rather than me having to come back we'll go to 9,000 and something and then don't worry about it. Oops. Okay, I got 48 liters too much. I wonder if I can, let's let's see how this one works with unloading. Whether I can actually unload it. Um, I press auger out like that. I should be. It should just unload straight into here with the auger being out. He says. Yeah, it does. There. And pretty much empties the whole thing out. So now I need to go and put that back in. Right. So at least it does actually work properly. We've done a, a, a little tiny test just there. Just to make sure that things work properly. And now I can go and put a bit more barley back into here. Not why I feel the need to push the limits of what I can do every time. I just do, though. Like, I, I didn't... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.